Let the bed bugs by. Before dusk sets in and parables make haste on today's end, I wander about half cognizant, half scoffed at home, lost for words or even sound thought. These meetings merely hide the bruises of my affliction. The sponsor with his Flintstone vitamin prescriptions has an eye like that of unstitched fabric. He's clearly oblivious to all of these sharp objects mocking us during withdrawals and pathetic talks about what it means to be somebody. I only entertain these wretched meanings so the judge grants me right to see my family. Small price to pay if you only knew how bad the dreams are. On most occasions, fundamentally, I sleep through the night. But on nights like these, I find myself around people I don't know. Running, screaming, being shoved into rooms that never shut. It's quite fortunate I can pull out right before the endings. The same shifty, eerie, repugnant, oily residue has a way of reminding my senses there are some things that cannot be ignored. Can't tell if it's this PTSD hovering over my head or this soulless world filled to its brim in androgyny and worship of dubious minds always kissing dexterous to keep a light on in a 3,000 a month studio. I wish I could shake this wretched confusion, but it's not gonna happen. Not today.